approach, also known as the Smith-Peterson approach, gives safe access to the hip joint. Um, it also provides access to the pelvis for pelvic osteotomy. The patient is positioned supine, and if an osteotomy is being performed, then a small sandbag can be placed under the ipsilateral buttock. This approach can also be used for total hip replacement. The special traction table uh, is used in those situations. Landmarks for the approach are the iliac crest, the anterior superior iliac spine, and the femoral shaft. An incision is made over the anterior half of the iliac crest, down to the ASIS, and this is curved vertically downwards for a further 8 to 10 centimetres. This approach uses the internervous plane between the superior gluteal nerve, which supplies tensor fascia lata, and the femoral nerve, which supplies sartorius. The gap between these two structures is identified, and to help with this, the leg is externally rotated to make the sartorius more prominent. The best place to identify the interval is 5 to 7 centimetres below the anterior superior iliac spine. The lateral femoral cutaneous nerve is at risk at this stage as it pierces the deep fascia two and a half centimeters below the anterior superior iliac spine. Make an incision on the medial aspect of the tensor fascia lata and stay within its fascial sheath. This way uh, you'll protect the nerve. The tensor fascia lata is retracted laterally and sartorius with the nerve is retracted medially. Beware of the ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex artery, which lies in the interval. Deep dissection is performed between gluteus medius laterally and rectus femoris medially. Detach rectus femoris from both of its origins, the direct head from the anterior inferior iliac spine, and the reflected head from the superior lip of the acetabulum. At this point, the femoral nerve and artery are at risk as they lie medial to rectus femoris within the femoral triangle. The anterior hip joint capsule is then exposed and iliopsoas is retracted medially. The leg is then adducted and fully externally rotated to put the capsule on a stretch before making your capsulotomy. And the hip is then dislocated. This approach can be enlarged uh, with local measures by releasing the origins of the tensor fascia lata, sartorius, as well as the gluteus medius and minimus. Extensile measures include proximal extension over the iliac crest to expose the inner and outer walls of the pelvis. Distally, this can be extended along the anterolateral aspect of the thigh to expose the entire shaft.